Great. Silver last night. Hockey head coach Bob Daniels. Green came out uh, a lot better tonight. I thought last night, even though the first period was 0-0, that, that they, they were a little sluggish. And tonight, uh, they, they, uh, they get full marks for a game well played, and, and certainly we had to earn it. Now, um, I can say this, too, from my perspective. Uh, we knew there was a lot in the line tonight, and I think you know, coaches and players included were, were fairly nervous. It seemed to me that when we had the one nothing lead uh, and then the 2 nothing lead, you know, it, it, we, we, you could feel the on the bench. Anyways, it was similar to having a one nothing lead inside of five minutes, but instead we had a half hour to go. Um, big plays, though. There was a big goal by uh, um, Schmidt on on the redirection. And that was the, the the game breaker right there, the third goal. And then obviously the power play penalty kill continued to click for us. We were one uh, one for four in the power play. I think uh, 0 for two. We held BG. And I'm real proud of the fact that the guys uh, played a very disciplined game tonight. What's your thoughts on share the CCHA? That's something. There's a shoe on the line, and we have a five-day line. Well, not for my, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, that's, I, I got mixed emotions. I'm really, really proud of the guys. I mean, the co, uh, the solidified code championship with two games to go. I mean, that is that's really special and it's awesome for the guys. But the reality of the situation is, I think any real competitor says, "Hey, no, we don't, we don't want to share." You know, sharing's good in life, but this is one time <laughs> when we want to be greedy and we'd prefer not to to share it. But um, I also want to take 24, 48 hours here and enjoy it because. Uh, the guys really worked hard. It's a season-long marathon, and they've done a great job. But there's other things, too, we're playing for beyond just the championship. We want to make sure we're going in the right direction for playoffs. We want to get into the NCAA tournament. Once we're in the tournament, we'd like to have the highest seed. So there's a lot riding uh, on the games as we continue. But for, for the moment, it's going to be fun to sit back and, and, and enjoy the accomplishment. Does that make it easier to motivate the guys for next week, knowing that there is still a lot? You know, to play for in the regular season. Very lucky that this group, very little motivation is needed by the coaches. It's supplied by the players. I thought the bigger worry was coming in this week. Um, the number one ranking, believe it or not, I think just added uh, pressure to the whole situation, unneeded pressure. It was great to have. Um, was worried as we came into the week that, that uh, things might get loose, but they didn't. So I think it's a pretty self-directed group. And as I said earlier, at this point now, it, it's almost better if the coaches take a little bit more of a hands-off approach and, and let the players drive it through. That, uh, there were some similarities between this team and the 2002-03 team. Can you talk about what some of those similarities are? Do you feel like this is a pretty close uh, group to that group? Very, very similar in terms of leadership. I mean, there's different components of the game. We, we went in different manner, manners with this team. Um, but the, the one underlying current between the two teams was the, the leadership and then beyond the leadership it was the acceptance of the younger kids of that leader it takes two you got to have great leaders up front and then you have to have uh, young kids come in and, and listen to that leadership and so and then the other thing I thought both teams were extremely mature and um, didn't panic if you look back at the regular season up to date uh, a lot of times we came back from one and two goal deficits and college hockey that's hard to do once again I think it speaks to leadership um, coach just some of the emotions that were going through your head when uh, Schleter scored that empty net or kind of salt the game away I got a chance to glance over at the bench and seemed like uh, as a collectively as a team the team was just really really pumped up because uh, since to increase the lead to three goals well first thought was you should have gotten over the red line <laughs> so we didn't ice it but after I got through that moment, then it was obviously I was very excited uh, that, you know, that really did solidify it. Uh, even with a two-goal lead, 40 seconds to come. Beyond that, though, it was, for me, it was just a century. I know that. I probably, you know, the guys will have to tell you about their thoughts. Then. You mentioned this is a very business, business-like group. What was the locker room like uh, after, after this? You guys had a chance to chat and like that. Except, dude. It was very subdued. I, it might be different if we had gotten it all over, but it was a lot more subdued than you'd think, and, and rightfully so. We've got a ways to go yet. I, I, again, that just speaks to maturity, and I think the players will. are going to take some moments and enjoy it, and enjoy the accomplishment to date, 
realizing that, that uh, we want this all right, number one, and then number two, uh, even after that, we've got a lot bigger fish to fry, so it's, the season doesn't end with this. It really just begins. The Ferris period is winding down. Yourself made a critical stop on Bowling Green to keep this a 2-1 game headed into the final 20 minutes of play. If you could, take us through that save. Uh, well, the guy uh, fe feathered a pass through, I think, to my left side, my catcher side, and I, uh, I tracked it down. Um, shooter was a right-handed shot, and he kind of made a move to his backhand real quick, and I, to be honest, I, I think I cheated a little bit, uh, and he took it back to his forehand, and, and I just kind of stuck my pad out and was fortunate enough to, to get a pad on it. You know, what this means to you guys to be in the position that you're in with a, a couple games left, CCHA co-champs as a senior, what this means to you? Uh, this, this, is a, this means a lot to uh, everyone in the dressing room. Um, we're, we're all excited about this opportunity, but, um, I mean, we still have a, uh, two games left in the regular season and uh, some games, uh, playoffs, and, and then NCAA tournaments. So, um, we're not done here. Um, I mean, it's nice to be labeled as the co-champions, but uh, like uh, Coach and Taylor said, um, we still we still got to play hockey, and uh, we we, we want to win that out. So, how much fun is it for you guys right now to be playing games with so much purpose right now? You're, you're the number one team in the country. You're playing for titles. You're playing to return to the NCAA tournament. Is this just? A lot, I, I would imagine it's a lot more fun to be playing with a lot to play for late in the season. Yeah, like you said, it, it is a lot of fun, and um, it makes it more fun with the the guys in the locker room. You know, um, everyone everyone comes to work every day, and uh, along with the coaching staff, and um, I mean, the players in the dressing room. We come to practice, and everyone works hard, and uh, you know, it's an exciting time for our team. But um, you know, we still got uh, still got a ways to go here. Chad's now on an 11-game point streak. Uh, Chad, you always want to win championships. How special is winning a uh, coach championship right now, hopefully a full-out championship after next week, especially as a senior? Um, this is a, a very special opportunity for all of our uh, seniors and, and our team as a whole. Um, I, I mean, uh, like, like you alluded to, uh, the, the point streak, it, it just it's happening. Um, our, our power play is starting to click or uh, is keeping uh, on to – we're making plays and stuff like that, um, but uh, we're excited about this opportunity and uh, we're embracing it. Ferris State co-captain Chad Billens with his thoughts and comments on the Gary Tremarco post-game show. Chad Billens heads back to the locker room, and that's the winner who captained his team to at least a share of the CCHA. The first place um, of the CCHA, but, uh, I mean, we still got to take each game um, one at a time, um, each period one at a time, and, uh, you know, we uh, can't look too far ahead here, but, yes, we're definitely excited about uh, West. It's a two-on-one, and I kind of got a little selfish. I kind of use uh, TJ as a, as a, I don't know, as a distraction, and I kind of just looked him off, and then, I know I know Andrew Hammond. I played with um, for a season, my first year junior, and uh, I beat him short side. You've uh, you've gotten uh, hot as of late. Can you talk about you know maybe what's clicking for you and, and you've been able to get in the score sheet? Um, I think as of late, I kind of just changed up my mindset and just you know I got to go as hard as I can. I've accepted my role and I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to help the team. Did you see guys like, uh, you know, Graham and Bonus and Johnson who all kind of had their moment, it seems like, throughout the season, and you kind of see, like, did, did that allow you to stay patient in, in you know, knowing that you had, you were going to have your chance to, to uh, Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Teddy and, and, and Jordy, you know, they, they've been through tough times, and they're having a lot of success this year, and, you know, I think that's just, you know, i got to take that, and i got to write out the times that are tough, and, you know, my time will come, and I'm just, i got to buy my time and, and work as hard as I can. Here tonight, Corey, you were over 60% in the face-off circle. Is that something you pride yourself on, especially as a centerman? You know, I, I try and work hard on that. Those are some of the little things, and I think a lot of, uh, you know, scouts and, and the coaches, you know, they, they try and see, 
you know, who does well in that, and I think that's something that will get you to the next level. But I, I try and work on those things. And, you know, definitely when I come out with over 50%, that's a pretty good night. You're a winner in juniors over in the uh, British Columbia Hockey League. Now you come here in your sophomore campaign, and you've clinched at least a share of the CCHA regular season title. How does it feel, especially with these groups of seniors like Chad and uh, Taylor Nelson? I, I think it definitely feels good, but I don't think it's really set in yet. You know, I think it, it's going to be something very special next week when, you know, hopefully we, we can be, you know, the only champion. And uh, I think looking back, the boys will realize how special this moment is for the program. I think it's a good thing. It's it's when you you have a last place team come in. It's teams sometimes sit back and you know before you know it you you've lost a game. So I think it's a it's really good that our our, our team was able to.